This next gentleman also no stranger to the Olympia stage and was one of the great innovators of some of the dynamic posing you see today by the likes of Tricky Jackson, Darren Charles. They all emulated this man back in the day and some would say arguably still the best entertainer in bodybuilding. IFBB Hall of Famer Vince, the Terminator Taylor. Our next superstar you'll still see making most of the rounds at the shows. He is behind the camera sometimes. He certainly has a pen and an opinion, doing a lot of commentary for muscular development. Hall of Famer and one of the best physiques ever to grace the stage, the Sultan of Symmetry, Flex Wheeler. Legends, they can sit wherever they want. Well, folks, not that these guys aren't handsome enough, but we need somebody to pretty up this stage, and who better but a multi Olympia champion, a lady that redefined ladies' bodybuilding. She's an IFBB legend, the lovely Miss Linda Murray. That's why he's a legend. Flex ain't no fool. <laughs> All right, next up, a man who pushed Lee Haney to his limits for many, many years on the IFBB stage. You talk about redefining conditioning. This man brought lines and conditioning and hardness where nobody had achieved it before. The Dragon Slayer, Rich Gasperi. Well, we talk about great bodybuilders named Lee, and Lee Haney is not the only one. There was another gentleman who pushed him to his limits in 1990. Arguably, some said should have been Mr. Olympia. He went on to a very successful and a great IFBB career. Then, of course, channeling Rich Gasperi himself into the world of supplements. You see his name on some great looking products. We also see his name in the IFBB Hall of Fame. How about a big round of applause for Lee Lebron? In 1983, this gentleman did the unthinkable. He stepped on stage in his all-time best condition with arguably one of the most classic and flawless physiques ever to win the Olympia title, the Lion of Lebanon, Samir Banut. This next gentleman really needs no introduction. He is one of the most recognizable faces in bodybuilding on the planet. You see him on The Apprentice just this last season. You've seen him in The Incredible Hulk. Multiple Mr. Universe winner. What can you say about The Incredible Lou Ferrigno? All right, down to three more superstars that have collectively 23 Olympia wins between them. Our first gentleman, a six-time Olympia winner, and ushered a new word into the bodybuilding vocabulary. The word grainy was never used before this man started winning Sandow's The Shadow, Dorian Yates. An eight-time Mr. Olympia actually ushered in his own vocabulary in the world of bodybuilding. Phrases like, yeah, buddy, <laughs> were ushered around gyms and still are to this day, arguably the best physique ever to grace an Olympia stage. Eight-time Mr. Olympia, the big nasty, Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> wait, wait. Ronnie-isms, you gotta love them. And last but not least, another eight-time Mr. Olympia, a man who broke all grounds and the first man to break Arnold's record. They said it would never be done, but it was done by this great superstar, 
the incredible Lee Haney. What do you think, folks? How about this lineup? I'm not so sure we've ever had this many superstars on stage at one time. A great opportunity. I'm obviously going to pitch a few questions to the guys and kind of get them chatting. And then we'll go to the audience and the press, of course, if, if they've got any questions. Let's start with the ladies. Always first. Who's got microphones down here? Ladies first, Linda like Murray, ladies welcome first. Linda. Yes, ladies first. Yes, ladies first. I like that. Thanks for prettying up the panel. No offense, guys, but that's just the way it goes. But uh, Well, Linda, obviously, um, we talked in your intro about redefining women's bodybuilding. We've seen a change in that over the years. Unfortunately, some of that not so much for the better, but uh, I just want to get your views on uh, women's bodybuilding direction and the difference between the way it was when you were winning Olympia titles and the way it is now? Well, you know, I think that um, when you look at bodybuilding, today the women have more of a choice and we have choices. There's bikini and figure and fitness. And so you will, the numbers, they definitely have decreased. So that's compared to when I was competing, it was just bodybuilding. Um, and I love the fact that we have physique and bikini and women have the opportunity to make a decision on what they want to look like. So I think it's great. 